the bass players out there, you bass player freaks. What's up? It's Pete Thorne, and uh, welcome to the studio. Hey, it's the Atomic Bass Box. You heard it on all the bass guitar parts on that track at the, at the beginning of the video. I don't think I've ever done a track yet where I didn't play any guitar at all, but I thought, you're going to hear the bass better if I just leave it alone with bass and drums. So that's what I did. This thing is awesome. I was a really, really big fan of a guitar modeling box that uh, was in the same size housing as this that they came out with a couple years ago. And now they've got the bass box, which is specifically, as I say, for our friends with four or five strings. And uh, hey, I consider myself a hack bass player, but I do what I can. And I have a lot of fun playing bass these days. And things like this just make it even more fun because it's so easy to get a great sound with this thing, honestly. So what is this thing? Well, it's modeling, full on modeling. It comes with three great amp models loaded up. So there's an SVT in there, a solid state style bass amp and some sort of t uh, other tube bass amp that sounds a lot like probably like a B15 or something like that to me. Each one of those has a separate different cab sim that so when you load up the the, the particular amp there's a three-way switch it'll load the, the corresponding impulse response for cab sim so for the solid state amp there's a 112 cabinet for the tube bass amp which i think sort of sounds b15 ish uh there's a 410 cabinet and for the svt style there's a 810 cabinet so I use the SVT for all the parts on the track at the beginning of the video, except for the kind of clean middle section where I was playing with my fingers, and that was the, the more like the B15 style. There's also a compressor in here. You get these two controls here, and you can switch it into three different modes. Uh, you can do a limiter, a compressor, or a leveler. They all sound different, and they all sound cool. And then the bottom controls here, these four, these basically control EQ, and you get three different types of EQ. So there's a couple that are kind of parametric style with a low and a high band, and then you use these middle two knobs to do different things. And then there's also just a straight up four band uh, EQ that gives you lows, low mids, high mids, and highs. Now there's also a distortion circuit in here, and you heard me switch that in, it sounds really cool. Three different modes on the distortion circuit as well. So for the clipping circuit, the three different settings are OD or overdrive, FET or like FET style clipping, or tube. Okay, other features, this is an input and an output here, quarter inch, but you also get a DI or XLR style output, and you got a ground lift switch there if you need to hit that. And then on this side, you also get a quarter inch uh, direct out here that passes signal through with no effect from the pedal at all. So if you wanna get a straight up, just the, the clean DI sound right out of your bass, you can get that out of the, this output right here. It's also jack on the back here, so you can hook this up to your computer, and there's a computer editor for it. If you wanna try some different amp models or load up different impulse responses, you can do that. I'm not gonna get into the computer editor or anything like that in this video. I thought the, the box was kind of uh, deep enough and complex enough just on its own without even hooking that stuff up. And I was able to get great sounds out of it without getting into the computer editor, so I thought I'd just use it as it is, as it ships from the nice folks at Atomic. So I'm gonna solo some of those parts from the track at the beginning of the video outside of the mix now so you can hear them super clear. And I'm also gonna hook up my TC Ditto looper and play some more through the pedal, get a bass loop going, and that'll free up my hand so I can turn all the knobs and show you what all the different stuff on this pedal does. Okay, here we go. It's the bass box from Atomic. <laughs> Come in with the bass.
thanks for watching my video on the base box from Atomic. Terrific powerhouse of a pedal here. Uh, full on amp modeling, impulse responses, compression, distortion, uh, different types of EQ built in. It's got a direct out on it. It's got the uh, XLR out, quarter inch out. You can hook it up to your computer. This thing does a lot in a very small package. So if you're a bass player that needs great cranked up amplifier sounds, uh, and you want to travel with maybe just your pedal board and you don't need to carry around a big old SVT and break your back, this could be just the ticket. Check it out at the website that's down in the video description below. You can click on the link down there. Please hit subscribe if you haven't and uh, hit the little bell if you don't mind beside the subscribe. You will get an alert every time I put out a new video. Thanks for making great stuff, Atomic. Rock on, folks. See ya.